Hey, it's Nate again with Jackhammer Strength Training. I'm uh, going to briefly talk about the bench press. One of my favorite quotes re with regards to lifting ever is lift heavy shit like it's light and lift light shit like it's heavy. Anyways, there's uh, various ways to bench press. Use a band, barbell, that's definitely the most common way in most gyms. Dumbbells, you can use a band with barbells, you can use a band with dumbbells, you can use a bench with bar with chains, you can use dumbbells and chains, you can use bands, chains, and a barbell. There's reverse fan presses, that's pretty complicated stuff, but anyways, here's a band. So I could just be sitting or standing, or I could lay down with it, and press away. But we have our most common bench. A lot of people like the thumbs one length basically from an early and press. But most people just grab it and press. But you'll get a lot more out of it if you're actually tight. And if you're a power lifter or aspiring power lifter, you may want to arch your back. I can I can get tighter by arching my back, but my arch is so minimal you won't even be able to tell that I'm arching my back. So when you arch your back, you still want your butt and your shoulders to touch. Get nice and tight. When I'm lifting really heavy, I like to basically cross my arms. You know, loosen up, still, well, swerve apart, and then relax. And then a few seconds later, I get back on. I'm nice and tight. Grab my bar, grip it nice and tight, and lift all the way down your chest and up. Another tip, grab the bar as tightly as you can. Actually try to pull the bar apart. Another tip, change your grips up. The closer your grip, the more triceps oriented it is. So if you have an incline, it's a little more intense on your shoulders. A decline, a little more intense on your triceps. So if we look at our strength training anatomy book, which is one of my favorite books, by the way. We have bench press. You can see it works the highlighted muscles, pectoralis major, aka your pecs or your beach muscles, and your triceps, just like I just said. Our close grip bench, the triceps, pectoralis major, and the tiny muscle, the anconius. Our decline, again, triceps and pecs anyways another way to bench I said is a chain so I have a chain here actually five or six it only weighs about 18 pounds I think so I'm gonna throw this on here I'm gonna grab the other one put it on the other side This is um, traditionally used to add accommodating resistance, meaning basically that most people have a sticking point when they come off their chest four to six inches, but if you use enough chain weight, you can gather momentum as you're going up and it gets, the weight increases as it's going up because of the chains are being spread out. So you're lifting more of the weight with the chains, but you're gathering that momentum so it helps you to bust through sticking points. And the other reason we bench with chains is for those that are not very used to benching, it adds a huge balance component and helps people to stay tight and get more balanced and be able to bench press better sooner, thereby getting results faster. So it just sounds awesome. It feels good to use them. We also have our dumbbell bench. So much easier than the barbell to set up. As you just grab a bench or a scorcher or lay on a box or even the floor. So most of the time I like to have palms out grip. Sometimes I do neutral. Sometimes I change within the rep. 
here's where I'm at most of the time with my dumbbells. You want to almost hit them, but you don't want to hit them. Because A, it'll be really rough on your dumbbells. And B, metal could potentially fly in your eye. We also have our one more return. So turn as you get up close to the top. We have our neutral to stay neutral. We have our neutral to palms out. We have our kind of in between. There's, there's lots of different ways you can change that up. If you want to make your dumbbell bench harder, you don't have heavier dumbbells, but you have access to bands, grab a band, put it just below your shoulders, grab your dumbbells safely. Make sure your band's still on the outside of your elbow, otherwise you won't have as much tension. Sit back, press away. All right. Couple more, couple more things I'm going to talk about here. One, if your wrists are sore for some reason, and you still really want to get your benching in. If you're a stubborn ass like me, get some wraps. Wrap your hands up. Helps give you a lot of support. You can also use these uh, instead of the 14 foot long wraps, like when you hit with the hit a bag or something. It might not be a good thing. I'm sure it's not nearly as good as the actual wraps, but. That's a lot better for me. All right. So if my wrists were sore, I'd be using these. In general, I only use those if my wrists are sore and I'm going really heavy. Next up, we have our Bench Daddy. So our Bench Daddy uh, is created by Mike Womack. I actually went to the Arnold this year to buy the slingshot which is uh, the knockoff of the bench daddy. I didn't know that, but this uh, thing goes around your arms and it basically helps you lift the weight off your chest. It allows you to do a little more weight and if you have shoulder pain, at least in my case, it actually alleviates shoulder pain. So without this over the past six months or so, if I bench over 205 pounds without it, it hurts my right shoulder but with it I've done up to 290 and can consistently get 255 for about six reps with it and without it I'm not going up over 225 205 even hurts sometimes but basically the way this works is as you get closer to your chest creates a lot of tension in the band you gotta stay nice and tight in your triceps and it kind of catapults off your chest, relieving that tension on your shoulder. Boom. So I'll do a couple reps so you can see what I'm talking about. So now I'm doing a bench press with added chain weight and the bench daddy. So my favorite grip is about an inch outside of the smooth part on the early. I have my little arch, I'm nice and tight. I'm up and I'm down on my chest. Boom. So I'll pop it right back up. That felt really good. A couple of them I didn't quite hit my chest because you need a certain weight to hit your chest. Anyways, uh, we'll do one more. So now we're going to do a band. I've never done this variation that I'm about to do. We're going to do a band, chain, barbell, bench daddy, bench. What you think of them apples? Yeah. How you like me now? Ah! A little bar forward. Nice and tight. Got my grip. And I'm up. That's a pretty 
crazy variation. Don't try this at home. So if you like what you've seen and uh, would like to learn more, know more, get stronger, if you're in the Columbus, Ohio area or anywhere in the world with the internet, message me at jackhammerstraight at gmail.com. Call me 614-499-4633. Message me on my Facebook fan page, Jack Hammer Strength Training, and we'll get you started. Have a great day.